Why did Super Saiyan 3 Goku think he could defeat Kid Buu at the end of Dragon Ball Z? Now, in the last arc of Dragon Ball Z against Kid Buu, Goku has a final battle with him and Vegeta, along with Fat Buu. And even if you want to count Hercule in this battle, they took on Kid Buu. And Goku thought he could take him in this form with his Super Saiyan 3 transformation. Which, when it comes to the power of, of Super Saiyan 3 Goku, it usually gets downplayed because it doesn't really get any victories in the actual series. You only see it gets a victory in Wrath of the Dragon. And that was a cool little finisher with the Dragon Fizz that Goku did. But, when it comes to Z... Goku never really gets the win with his Super Saiyan 3 transformation. Now, the thing is, Goku thought he could defeat Kid Buu because, yes, Super Saiyan 3 raw power is much more strong and powerful. And that Goku is able to have a, a higher output in, 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 in his power. Because you could kind of see that at one point he was kind of like, you know, keeping up with Kid Buu and, and, and really just, you know, damaging him. But... The thing is, Kid Buu having that regenerated abilities and, of course, the stamina. The stamina is where Goku started to fail at. And once that lack of stamina, that's where it took a toll on him. And he began to power down and become weaker. Now, the thing is, essentially, Goku was actually his strongest in that arc against Fat Buu. And that was the reason why Goku felt like he could have took out Fat Buu at any time because... He was much more stronger due to him being in his spirit body where he had infinite stamina at this point. Compared to when he actually fights, you know, Kid Buu, he has stamina and he didn't realize how much of a toll that the stamina took on his body when, you know, fighting against Kid Buu. That's why he thought he could just power up and he'll be fine, but he realized it was not the same and began to realize this when Vegeta comes back to life as well and realized that Vegeta won't have the durability against Kid Buu that he had before when Kid Buu was punishing him and Vegeta being a human he won't be able to have that same type of you know resistance so Goku was a lot more stronger in his fight with Fat Buu and yes definitely he could have defeated Fat Buu because with no drawbacks he would be able to just pretty much defeat Fat Buu the only drawback technically which we found out afterwards was that it drained his time on earth and that was just like something that you know he would just go back to the other world but it wasn't really draining like his actual power in his fight with fat boo so that's why goku was definitely much more powerful at that point and probably could have defeated fat boo at that point if there was no drawback for the time limit that he had but when it comes to kid boo with his infinite stamina and all that gone it really makes it hard which it would have been better off if goku was still dead in other worlds and Kid Buu came over there to fight Goku, then the fight would have probably played out a lot different. Goku probably wouldn't have need any help from Fat Buu or Vegeta in this fight. He would have been able to fight Kid Buu at, at full power with no drawbacks, and it probably would essentially gave Goku the win without having to use the Spirit Bomb to defeat Kid Buu at this point, which would just been a little bit different. So that was the reason why Goku kind of felt like he was pretty much able to defeat Kid Buu in this fight because yes essentially him at max power he probably is stronger than Kid Buu and he probably could have defeated Kid Buu you know at his full strength but due to the actual fight Goku not being able to be accustomed to his actual body on the you know there was a lot of drawbacks which it also goes into play back to my previous video on the truth about Goku and Vegeta if they fought seven years now, if Goku actually fought Vegeta alive, like Goku was like came back to life and fought Vegeta, it's a good chance that they would have been roughly close in power, or Vegeta could have been stronger than Goku because even though, like I said, when Vegeta seen Goku showcasing his power against Yakon, you know, there still came to like that infinite amount of stamina that Goku could output so much power that Vegeta was kind of like shocked at this output and Goku was not really trained by this. So Vegeta knew he had to do something to kind of measure up. Which Vegeta didn't understand the effects of the spirit body that he has. Probably got accustomed to it by him coming back to life. Well, not coming back to life, but coming, you know, for one day the same way like uh, Goku did when they needed help against Super Buu or Buhan. And this kind of played a factor that Vegeta kind of understanding a little bit about the benefits of that. 
and they kind of touched upon this if this wasn't a thing they wouldn't touch they really wouldn't mention anything about this if it wasn't an actual thing so that is the reason and essentially vegeta you know have more accustomed to using super saiyan 2 uh, in that seven years you know it depends on when he unlocked it which it could be hard if they say he got it roughly around the end of the seven years but me i, I honestly i doubt it i think vegeta probably could have got it in the middle because by him seeing gohan achieve this form and him already learning to like unlock you know different you know variations and grades of super saiyan it would be nothing for him to pretty much push himself to try to first manage to get grade four of you know super saiyan and then push himself to reach you know super saiyan 2 which is probably essentially he probably realized by watching gohan transform into this he probably eventually will realize this in like unlocking it the more custom he is in training and i've seen some people say in the comments that you know essentially that you know since Vegeta was weaker than Goku during the Cell Saga that he wouldn't have caught up well and he that he decided not to fight but Vegeta clearly states that he kept up with his training and still being a warrior even though he feel like he's not a warrior and stuff and pretty much feel like he lost to Goku that didn't stop him from keeping up and wanting to achieve that new level of power because in Vegeta's mind it's always going to be the same thing like if he achieved that certain power like Super Saiyan 2 it, and he realized if he reached the same equal level to wherever Goku is, he's going to surpass Goku. And that's why when he felt like he got Super Saiyan, he felt like he was able to, you know, be stronger than Goku. Because now he got Super Saiyan, he felt like there's nothing that Goku has. But then once Goku pretty much unlocked grade 4, he realized Goku surpassed him when it came to that. And then Gohan unlocking Super Saiyan 2, it really just put a hurting on his pride because he realized that there's two levels he have to overcome one to reach grade four and then jump to super saiyan 2 now that's the main reason why goku hid his super saiyan 3 transformation from vegeta in the first place in their fight and essentially this is just a plot point because you know the form didn't exist at the time they fought in the series but um in the in story universe goku hid this form from vegeta and Vegeta was mad about it because Goku understand what this would have did to Vegeta's pride of him catching up and learning new levels. But, and all those seven years of him training, he realized Goku still had a, a step above him. So that was definitely a key factor. So yes, essentially, to that point, Goku will be stronger than, you know, Vegeta with Super Saiyan 3 under his sleeves. But essentially, if Goku and Vegeta fought in Super Saiyan 2, if Goku was to come back to life, and actually fight Vegeta in the Super Saiyan 2 transformation, there's a good chance that Vegeta would have probably did much more better because he would have been more accustomed to fighting as a, you know, Super Saiyan 2 alive than actually using a spirit body and understand the stamina and everything and the power output of this form than Goku. Goku would eventually try to get accustomed to it real quick because Goku's kind of a genius in that thing of like figuring out things kind of quick a little bit but this still would have gave vegeta an edge so that was the main point of vegeta pretty much taking that margin power boost to try to keep up with goku because he didn't understand he thought that it was just goku's own power that it was just above him but in actuality goku did have some hacks at that time and vegeta didn't understand that so by vegeta getting that boost it kind of even the playing field a little bit but you know essentially goku still has super saiyan 3 which move forward pretty much Goku felt like he had the upper hand in this form because Goku felt definitely stronger than you know Fat Boo and Kid Boo in his spirit body but while well, Goku actually testing his actual you know power as Super Saiyan 2 I mean Super Saiyan 3 being alive he was not sure of like what the actual drawbacks was so this is kind of this definitely paid an effect on him so essentially Kid Buu would definitely, you know, defeat Goku just off of like, you know, all the abilities he have to regenerate and his stamina and everything. Him also having the body to like, you know, that's very durable. That can pretty much take a lot of punishment and 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 really hard to kill. So Kid Buu definitely wins at this point and essentially Goku wouldn't been able to defeat him, uh, you know, alive. But Goku was in his spirit body it'll probably have been a different story because Goku would have been able to fight Kid Buu at a high level 
and maybe get the advantage to defeat him in that form because he wouldn't have nothing to pretty much hold him back essentially being like an android with infinite energy supply in a sense so and a durable body to go with it on top of that so that's it for this video don't forget to drop a like get in the comments subscribe to the channel we got a lot more videos i got a new series coming so just stay tuned first episode is coming real soon maybe this weekend so just stay tuned